A life lived without borders is a life lived in captivity. Todd Stocker. Welcome and I'm so glad that you're here. Here we talk about personal development, relationships and mental health, just to name a few. My name is Carmen, a registered counsellor who is passionate about coming alongside people. This podcast is designed to create a discussion and bring awareness around what matters most in life, and that includes you. The goal is that each episode will leave you feeling encouraged, equipped, and empowered so you can live your best life. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another episode. How are you? I hope you've been keeping well. So I'm constantly on the lookout for inspiration for my own life and different ways of living it. And of course, how I can add value to anyone willing to listen to this podcast. What I love the most is we never stop learning. No one way fits all, and what might work in one situation doesn't necessarily work in another. Life isn't always black and white or straightforward. It can be predictable and unpredictable. In this week's episode, we talk about ways and ideas that we can put up our do not disturb sign on the things that matter most to us. It's about having margin in our day, an edge or a border that enables us to simply be along with our doings. It's about not always being filled to the absolute brim with things to do that may not even matter to us. It's being intentional with how we spend our time, the margin to stop and self-care, look after our bodies and mental health, invest in our relationships and getting some good, sometimes undervalued rest. Having margin in our day is not necessarily super strict guidelines, but instead it's being conscious about the things that we are responsible for, things that matter to us. It's being aware of our decisions and what we choose to do with our hours, days, weeks, months and years. Here are some steps that can help you do this. Step one, a place to start creating awareness about how you spend your time is to take the time to look at how you spend your time. For seven days, record all the things you do in a day and how long you spend on these activities. You can use a daily planner for this. Approach this exercise from a curious standpoint to learn about your week and how you spend your time. Step two, after the week has passed, have a look at how you spent your time. At this stage, you may even categorize your activities as high importance, medium importance, low importance, and activities you no longer want or need to do. You may also like to look at how much time you spent on each of these. You may choose to leave as is, increase or decrease how much time you spend on these activities in the future. What we say yes to, we are potentially saying no to something else. It's about being empowered to choose how we spend our time. Step three, you may have already had some extra time on your hands or after doing the steps of you may have found some spare time on your hands. So what happens if you still don't have margin or find yourself at busy periods in your life that are beyond tweaking? You may consider outsourcing services if you feel it may help you with creating this margin. Step four, Revise regularly and ask yourself what you need to do and what you want to do. Life changes and so do we. What worked yesterday might not work tomorrow. On a finishing note, you may like to continue educating yourself about why it's essential to create margin 
In previous episodes, I have unpacked boundaries, burnout, and self-care, just to name a few. And you may have already listened to these. Sometimes a refresher can provide new insight. I will include these links in today's show notes. Suppose you're feeling stuck and could benefit from a free 15-minute phone consultation with me. Head over to carmendebono.com.au forward slash counselling and let's take it from there. So as always, I have enjoyed our time together and until next time, take care. So that's it for today's episode. As always, I'm grateful for the opportunity to come alongside you. If you know someone who might benefit from hearing this episode, why not share it with them? And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss an episode. For more content or to learn about the services I provide, head over to carmendebono.com.au and I look forward to coming alongside you again next Wednesday.